വെൽക്കം ടു റെൻവിൽ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റ് ചാനൽ ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ത്രീ വീഡിയോസ് വി ലേൺ ദി ഫൈൽ മെനോ ഇൻ എക്സൽ സോറി ഓം മെനോ ഇൻ ദ എക്സൽ ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് മെനോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലേൺ ഇൻസേർട്ട് മെനോ ഇഫ് യു സി യർ അണ്ടർ ഇൻസേർട്ട് ദർ ഇസ് ടേബിൾസ് ഇലാസ്ട്രേഷൻസ് ആഡിൻസ് ചാർട്സ് സ്പാർക്ക് ലൈൻസ് ഫിൽട്ടേഴ്സ് ലിങ്ക്സ് സിമ്പിൾസ് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ വിൽ ഗോ ത്രൂ ബ്രീഫ്ലി ദി ടേബിൾസ് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ മൈ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോസ് ഇഫ് യു സി ഇൻ യൂട്യൂബ് ഇൻ റെൻവിൻ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റ് ചാനൽ യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻ ദി ഫയർ ടേബിൾ ഫയർ ചാർട്ട് റിലേറ്റഡ് വീഡിയോസ് സോ യു ക്യാൻ ഗോ ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ദേ and you can learn the how the how to create fire tables how to create fire charts etc but in this videos in brief i'll explain to you what is fire table how to create fire table and how to insert the table etc okay let me move on sheet first data uh, so i have here uh, 383 rows this data is mainly related to n uh, the market up and low value and what is the close uh, value and how much shares traded and how much uh, turn over per day so i have the data from the 1st jan till uh, 9 17th of june so with this data let me explain how to create fire table first of all the fire table so when you have this bulk data you can create a table which will give you the brief summary and which will help you to analyze and to make certain decisions so this will give, help you to present your data in a summarized manner to the management so that they can and take decision business decisions okay so let me see uh, the first one is fire table easily arrange and summarize complex data in a fire table so i will keep cursor anywhere in the a range and i'll simply go to fire table and so the range is already selected from the data a1 to h383 cell press okay when you press okay one new sheet will be open see fire table you can create in the same sheet or in the new sheet but in my example i am creating in the new sheet okay so now you can see uh here fire table features okay these are the features so now sorry something went wrong there uh, let me insert again insert fire table okay now settings field sections okay now you can arrange these columns either rows or columns or values to as per your need so let me put month in the column section okay and i can i'll make it under filter section then i will select i under values and i will make it as value field settings average then similarly i'll select low i will that also make it an average then close or i can make even shares number of shares traded 
so better i will select as a close here and i will make it this also as average okay so in overall you can see for total from 1st jan to 17th june the average i of nifty is 16397 similarly the average low will be sorry 16196 and average close will be 16300 now see in this case you can make here just to see since it is a average i i mention so no need to mention as average instead i will make as uh, max okay and here i will make as minimum okay so and sorry this supposed to be uh, uh, close okay see the maximum throughout first 6 months 16397 it went and the lowest is 13596177 okay uh, and the close of lowest is 16, 13634 now this is for entire period for example if you want to see for the january i have converted the date in a month wise so you can select any month see for the january is this one similarly april or may select see the may 15745 is the highest and the lowest is 14416 similarly you take for june Fifteen nine forty six is the highest. Fifteen one eighty three is the lowest, and the close of lowest fifteen two nine three. So this way, when you have the bulk data, if you put the fire table, it will give you the summary to analyze. So this way, fire table will help you to take some of the important decisions. Okay, let me come back to the same example now. Okay, I'll delete this fire table. Now, second feature is recommended fire table. But in recommended fire table, uh, it, it, I cannot apply this year. If I click, see this uh, error will pop up. Uh, what it says, we can't recommend any fire table for the selected data because there are too many blank cells or duplicate values or not enough numerical values. Since this is a bulk data, it will not give you recommended fire table. But if you have less data, it will give you certain suggested fire tables. I either you can select those suggested fire tables or you can create your own fire table depending upon your requirement okay so this is recommended fire table so the next important is is under insert there is table see now the cursor is b2 sorry b1 cell so if you keep outside the area outside the data and press control t the table will not be displayed and even if it displayed that will not contain any data okay because there is no data in that particular range now keep the cursor anywhere in the data and press control t or go to insert and press table okay when you press table it will give you own create table window and it will select to the range where the data is exist and you can and you can select this checklist my table as headers and press okay now when you press okay it will give you one table okay now but this table style so there is table style options there is table styles so these 
things you can change so the first to see sub features of this first one is the table name you can make data okay you can resize the table okay okay comma right now i am not doing that because no need to resize me because it's already has enough data in that summarize with the fire table same day you can make as a summarize okay remove duplicates if there is any duplicate you can delete the root duplicate rows you can convert to a range okay okay the next feature is you can convert this table into a normal range of cells okay you can insert the slicer i have explained in a separate video what is slicer and how to insert okay you can export this table to an excel sheet okay or export the data in this table to a sharepoint list or vision visual diagram okay next you can refresh okay next see next the features is table style options now header row already there total row if you want to add it will add one more total as row okay first column it will highlight the first column if you want to highlight last column you can select this checklist okay banded columns okay it will the first every alternative column it will highlight okay if you don't want filter button you can deselect or you can select okay if you change if you want to change the table style see these are the different table styles okay we can change the table styles depending upon your uh, interest or if you are, your requirement see there are uh, different uh, here different table styles are there so this you can select depending upon your requirement how you want to look like okay so this is the basic features of inserting table now the beauty of this insert table suppose you want to add one more uh, row example okay one more row so when you add one more row what will happen okay this formula this sum up it will take even the new row what you added now you can see this uh, value how it will change when i enter some data okay i will mention 100 see automatically it will sum up so this is the feature of inserting a table but in the normal table when you person you, you customize without this it you need to edit that formula but in this feature inserting table when you insert a new row system so the formula what was there already it will add it it will automatically will, will add that new row data this will eliminate your uh, work which you need to add again okay friends in this short video i have explained under insert pair table for recommended pair table and uh, the insert column okay in the next uh, uh, coming videos we will explain more features on illustrations add-ins charts uh, spark lines filters and etc okay friends in this video only this much thank you friends for watching this video if you like this video kindly share this video with your friends write a nice comment below the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so that i can create more and more videos and reach out more and more people like you. Thank you friends.